What's up everybody, John the Sharpening Dude here. Today we're gonna to be talking about Blade Tech Steel. Uh, for the month of March, we're doing a March Madness sale. And uh, if you head over to my website, sharpeningdude.com uh, products, uh, and then Blade Tech, you'll see all the details there for uh, what specials we have going on during the month of March. So today we're gonna to be talking about uh, the actual steel itself, the different levels, uh, and why I think that Blade Tech is uh, one of the top companies out there for players to be using. So the first thing that we're gonna be talking about is the different levels of steel. We're gonna start off with the silver steel or the mirror. And what we're looking at here is, as you can see, it's called mirror because of that mirror finish. As I move it up and down, you can see the reflections uh, in it. And so this steel here is a, it's polished steel, it's polished to a mirror edge. And what that does is it gives you uh, a lot more bite into your, into your edges. Uh, that doesn't necessarily correlate to like your hollow type, I'm not talking about like if you normally skate on a half inch and you get a half inch, you're gonna feel like you're, you know, biting into the ice a little bit more. Now what I mean by that is your edges last a little bit longer and they're a little bit more crisp. So I've had a lot of players switch over to Blade Tech, uh, especially recently, and they're noticing gigantic upticks in the ability of uh, speed. Like, so their speed is increased, their acceleration's increased. Uh, they're looking at being able to do a little bit more things and fatigue has actually gone down. And so before we get to the fatigue part, I do want to focus in on the recipe that Blade Tech is using. Um, so when I grind uh, your steel, what I'm looking for in your steel quality and the grind quality is whether or not we have a smooth pass that goes every single time or if we're trying to work through edges a little bit. Uh, let's say that you've got a nasty little nick or burr or whatever. Uh, I'm looking to see how much work do I have to do to get rid of that. And what I've noticed in Blade Tech is the, because the steel is a little bit, uh, it's it's harder and more supple at the same time. It's kind of oxymoronic. Um, but what that means is that if you have like a skate on skate collision or a skate on boards collision or something like that, the steel, don't get me wrong, is going to get a little bit damaged right there. But it doesn't make you lose your complete edge uh, like other steel does. So my son plays notoriously very, very hard uh, into the corners. He's got a lot of skate on skate action. Um, and when I've noticed that I've sw since I've switched into Blade Tech, he can have a big collision on the ice and then be able to skate away from it uh, without losing an edge, without me having to do like a hot swap on the bench or anything like that. So I, I push that out because if you're looking for something that's going to be able to stand up to your grind and, and be able to uh, you know keep your performance at top peak levels, even in the midst of a very, very hard competitive game, Blade Tech's going to do that. Uh, the other thing that I think for an economical portion on it is that uh, the silver steel is, I mean, by far one of the best qualities of, of steel at the lowest level that I've ever seen. Uh, and I say like lowest level because this is literally like tier, this is like the third tier or fourth tier, I should say, uh, of Blade Tech's tiers. Um, and yet it's still, I think, higher than most top end uh, tiers and other uh, manufacturers. So uh, when you get these, uh, when you order steel, they automatically come with a triple radius profile. So it like splits up the blade into three parts. Each part will have a separate profile. Uh, most people have to pay an upwards of, you know, 40 to 80 bucks to be able to get that. And, uh, and Blade Tech said, you know what, we're just going to make our steel with that come right off the bat. So it makes my job easier too. Uh, all I have to do is look at the specifications for the steel that you ordered, which half of them I've got memorized anyway. And then I know how to sharpen to make sure that we don't lose that profile. Um, that's a huge deal, I think, uh, and that's and that's on every single piece of steel that they that they order. I just think coming in at like again that bottom tier level to be able to offer that uh, right off the right off the go is way way better. Um, the next thing that well, I like to talk about, uh, which I can stick with the silver uh, steel, is if you notice, there's like a little divot in here, and uh, this steel actually is designed so that this top portion here, from probably about here to here is able to flex up and down. You won't be able to do it with your hands because it takes a lot of pressure and it's, you know, quite frankly, it's gonna hurt you to be able to do it. And you wouldn't wanna bend it because your pressure can go this way or this way on the blade and then that can cause an issue. So when we're talking about this steel being able to flex up and down, when it's inside your holder and you're sprinting, as you're sprinting, this is gonna be like a little spring effect right there. And if anybody understands what I'm trying to say is when you run in regular shoes and you're sprinting, those shoes that you wear have a little bit of give and go as you're uh, as you compress that material and be able to give you a little bit of a spring off. Uh, and the same thing happens to steel. Now, steel is not normally meant to bend, um, and that's why I say that this kind of turns your uh, typical super hard material into something a little bit more supple. 
enabling you to sprint better uh, and, and enabling to take some of that pressure off of your knee. If you're a bit older like me or a bit bigger like me, um, having that uh, ability to do that is going to be a gigantic thing just simply because you're going to reduce your injuries in the long run or you're going to reduce your uh, long-term uh, you know, injury due to the fact that you're not putting as much pressure on your knees, on your ankles and legs and back and all that as you're going. Are you going to notice it right off the bat? Some people do, some people don't. It depends on who you are. I know that a lot of kids say that they can't feel it at all. It's probably because they're so lightweight uh, and, and honestly, they're, they're kids, so they don't really pay attention. But as, a, as an older person playing, I think that it really benefits uh, a lot of players. So we'll talk about the different tiers now. So again, we've got mirror still here. Um, you can pick it up. Uh, I think it like you know a big retail store for probably around like 110 or something like that uh, for their mirror polish. They don't carry a lot of it, so just like me, you'll have to order it. Um, the difference is that when you order through me, uh, I order the day that you put it in, and I've got a really really good relationship again with the guys back at Blade Tech. They're really, really good about getting steel out the same day that I order it, as long as I order it within a certain uh, window. And they do a really, really good job of like getting me my steel very, very fast. Um, obviously, with COVID and shipping and all the other issues that are going on in the world, uh, it's a bit hard to be predictable. But I can say that I normally have it turned around back to the customer within one week of placing the order. So with that, we'll go into the different tiers. So again, mirror steel, uh, it does. The only thing is it does get these fingerprints on there, as you can see what I'm doing right now. Um, but the nice part about that is that you can just take a, a regular rag, your little chamois that you've got for your blade and you can wipe it off. Uh, and there you go. You'll have like back to, uh, back to good steel and you can see where I didn't wipe them versus where I did wipe. All right. Next up in the tier, you have black armor. So I have a set of black armor right here. You'll notice that it's got like this matte finish on it. Um, and this matte finish is a, is a coat. It's a coating that goes on top, just like everything else. Um, but what I really, really like about blade text coating is that I can't, when I grind and I haven't ground these ones yet, but when I grind this part on the bottom will turn silver. And sometimes you'll see like chipping, cracking, uh, some little like hairline fractures, uh, in this, in the top coat. And I've never had that happen on a blade tech blade. I've had it happen on a few other black steels from other companies, but I've never once had it happen on a blade tech. Am I saying that it will never happen? No, every, something's bound to happen all the time, but from my, from my perspective, uh, these have been absolutely amazing to deal with. Um, this right here is a light speed two holder, which is why you're wondering, hey, John, that looks a little bit different. Uh, it has a little screw post attachment right here. So it's got a, a bolt, um, like a post um, that'll go into, not a screw, it's like a bolt that comes out that goes into the bottom of the skate. And then there's a nut that goes on there and it tightens it down, holds it in. Uh, but again, it still has that flex feature. Um, and each one of these is designed to for the specific holder to allow that flex. Um, if you put it in there and you feel like you're not getting, uh, like it's it's a little bit loose, um, come back and see me. We can easily rectify that and take care of it. Uh, although with brand new steel, I've never really had that happen. I've had it happen with a couple older holders or older steel. Um, but anyway, this is the black, uh, black armor. Uh, it's a really, really good steel. If you're asking me personally, uh, which one of the tiers that I would stick with, I'd probably stick with the mirror just because that blade already, even at the bottom tier, is an amazing quality of steel and you can get sometimes two for the price of one uh, of one of the higher tiers. Uh, black Armors, don't get me wrong, is a very, very good coating, especially if you want to stick with that black look. Uh, if you want to have a little bit more or a little bit less water retention, um, that's honestly what these things are designed to do is hold your edges a little bit longer and keep the water out so that rust and at like the microscopic level, that water is not getting into the porous material that the steel is made out of. So on the third and final tier that uh, actually, no, I'm going to, I'll demonstrate one more tier, but on the third tier up, which is considered the top tier of steel, um, we're going to look at our black R, I'm uh, sorry, black diamond coat. So it's like a DLC, which stands for diamond light coating. Um, and you, you can tell that this is also that kind of like that mirror finish. Um, but it's yet, yet it's black and it's super cool. And I've got one here that was customized, uh, for a customer of mine and it's, Really, really, really good quality, and I cut. I should probably should have wiped where, where my fingerprints were, but really, really good quality steel. Um, this by far, I think, is like the top of the top if you want to talk about it. Um, and I, I mean, I can't say like again. This coating looks like it may come off. Um, 
but it never has. And it's never like a lot of people who see this like mirror diamond like coating on other quality or other manufacturers of blades might say, yeah, John, I've seen that before. But yet after I got it sharpened like five or six times, I noticed there was like hairline cracks or something like that. I've never had that issue. Uh, these guys have, have done a really, really good job of their, again, their recipe. Um, and I think that this is just like the top of the top. Customization wise, you can get your, uh, your, you know, your, what do you call it? Your custom text that's put in there. Uh, I put my logo on all steel that I sell just cause I'm, I, I'm, I'm pretty proud of, of what we are able to do and, and offer. Um, and anyway, yeah, it's just a really, really good quality steel. I get asked a lot about goalie blades. Um, I do not currently have a goalie blade, uh, in the black armor or the black diamond coat, but I do have a goalie blade in their mirror silver steel. And I'm just going to polish it off cause it looks like my fingers were all over it again. And when we look at this steel, immediately right off the bat, we can see that this steel is much taller than you would have if you buy through a different manufacturer. This is done on purpose for a couple of reasons. One, you get a little bit more performance out of being up higher. You can stop pucks a little bit more uh, having this uh, you know, ability like the, when the puck won't hit the holder and deflect normally it goes right to the, the steel and then you're able to control it a little bit better or at least know your angle. If it hits the holder and hits like one of the post holder well, posts on the holder that's like sticks out like this a little bit, it might ricochet left or it might ricochet right. Uh, and this does a really good job with that. The other thing that you get with having this uh, as a much taller steel is much longer life out of a blade. If you're a goalie and you buy these blades, chances are you're never gonna see me again until you're either sizing out of skates uh, or or your or your actual boots are starting to fail you and you need to get new ones. These blades last forever. Uh, and again, they come pre-profiled already, uh, but they do have the ability to put them into like a goalie Sam. If you want, these have been profiled into a goalie Sam. Um, and yeah, they're just, uh, again, amazing quality uh, steel that, that, that blade tech sale, sells. So those are the basic things. I'm gonna go over one. I gotta go grab it because it's, uh, it's actually right over here on the left. Um, but we're gonna be talking about custom color steel. So these were made uh, for my son uh, back before he understood that having colored blades, um, uh, you know, it, it makes you, you know, not just stand out on the ice, but makes you kind of a target and all that stuff. So you can have them done in any color though. I'm not saying you need to get them in neon green with your name and your number on it. Uh, these were done as like kind of a promotion for him. Uh, but they do like if your if your team colors are black and gold, they can do black in the back and gold in the front. So and then they can give you like sparkle effects and all this stuff. Uh, it's really, really cool to see what, what they're able to do. Um, but these are their uh, colored blades. What they are is a ceramic like coating on it. I don't know the actual term for for it off the top of my head. Um, but the coating is, I mean, almost identical to the uh, black armor coat. And I would say I'd put them up there at like the black armor coat um, level of, of like the tier. Um, so definitely a really, really good quality blade. Uh, it's a really cool idea to be able to kind of customize your blades how you want it to. Again, they're able to customize pretty much any blade that you want. We took a, a, a diamond light coating blade and we were able to customize it. And you can see uh, the difference in how they come out. And obviously the black diamond looks uh, looks pretty cool. So. Those are the those are the two that we offer, um, and and we're able to kind of do anything you want. Uh, you just give us a shout uh, on anything, and if you've got any questions or concerns or or uh, want to send me some hate mail, go for it. Uh, again, sharpeningdude.com for all things that you need. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys. Have a great day.